This week on the House of Bread Show, we find out about our latest food hygiene rating. We also talk about exactly what happened in Tesco over the week and how much food you all donated. Hob Star of the Week makes its triumphant return, but who was it? And as always, much, much more. Hello, welcome to the House of Bread Show one more time. Um, who have we got in the Tesco chairs this week? Yes, <laughs> it's me, Will. Will and Lisa. Hello, Hello. Jack. Now, we've been in Tesco's all week collecting food, um, all last week, I should say, when you mm. get this. Um, believe it or not, that is not the biggest news story of last week. No. First off, ding, I haven't got the bell. Um, over to Lisa, first and foremost. What have you achieved what last have week, I achieved? Lisa? What have I achieved last week? Um, well, can I, can I do June? Yes. Can I do June? Um, well, you know, in May I did my level two food hygiene course. Yes. And passed. And passed with 100%. Oh. Uh, and you know that we did a bit on the vlog, oh. me achieving my level three food hygiene. Yes. 97% because I got two questions 97%. wrong. 97%? Oh. Sadly. Um, we, we are now covered health and safety wise because I've got my health and safety certificate. So none of us will ever die now. <laughs> Hopefully not. Extraordinary. Well, accidentally. But, but the, biggest, the biggest bit of news, and it's not just me, that's the first thing I want to say. It's a team effort. Mm. It, was, it was Dave when, when yeah. he was here before. He, old Dave. Um, he got a job. It's Pete's knowledge and enthusiasm as well. Definitely. Um, it was me putting in quite a lot of hours yeah. outside of work. Yeah. Um, but I am delighted, and, and the help we have to say from from Helga Gray from Environmental yes, Health. Thank you, Helga. Very much so in in steering um, me, particularly having come from a zero knowledge base of of food hygiene, um, what we need to do and and how I need to approach everything. I am delighted, beyond delighted, to say that last Friday or the yeah, yeah. a week ago today, yeah. because we're recording this on a Friday. Helga came and inspected House of Bread as an organisation and we have achieved five stars which is the highest rating that That's we the can. Highest the highest rating. Fantastic. Yeah, it did go through my mind as soon as I got over the shock when she said you've got five stars, how do we get a six? <laughs> you because can't, you, five, but you can't. five is you the can't. maximum. Five is the maximum you can get. Now we've mocked up. Um, we took a picture of um, Tesco's certificate just over there. Because they're five star as well. They are five star as well. We mocked up what we'll look like, but because we're so happy about this, we haven't <laughs> got a certificate yet. We couldn't so when wait, we do, it's in the post. Yeah, you? it's in the post. When we do get it, at least we'll come back on and yeah. show it off. Yeah, so that might that, be next yeah. week, that what might be down the line. Level five, level what five. does that actually mean for House of Bread? Because that means that a lot, means, doesn't it? It, 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 means, it, means a great, it means a great deal to me personally, it means a great deal for the volunteers that we are we are training up to be part of the catering offering it means that house of bread as an organization are as good as can be judged with yeah. the food with, the, with food. the food no matter where, where we, we are, are. Mm. And so I, yeah. we have the knowledge and the skill base and the competency to go into and any building. The point about wherever we are is really important. It is. It because is because obviously for us, we have yeah. about four or five kitchens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we do. So that yeah. level of hygiene has got to be consistent across the whole yes. piece. Yes. Yes. So and we have been we have been look, we have been inspected at, in yeah. more than one location. And um, actually, I, I think it's important yeah. for everybody at home. If you're watching this at home or wherever you're watching, we can come across as you know yeah. a bit you know funny and a bit doggy yeah, there and is a, there we is put so much effort yeah. into yeah. taking as much care yeah. especially with food and all the other stuff about and with people. care and people yeah. and stuff we yeah. put so much effort into it and that just yeah. shows because it's not easy to get five stars no, no there are many isn't. restaurants in Stafford who aren't at who that would level. love a five star <laughs> yeah. and there are um, lots of paperwork to go but in a, yeah. a, lot, a, lot of, a lot of paperwork yeah. a lot of um, a lot of management and and motivating people yeah. as well yeah. that they want to be at and, that standard. And the other thing is know? that's the other thing that's important to know is we haven't mm -hmm. we haven't excluded anybody in the process. No. Whether you're coming along to help peel the potatoes or whatever it is, you can no. still be part of our work. Yes. You're, you're not excluded. No. But that's a powerful piece of confirmation that we are in a very good place for for the future for the catering future. Yes. expansion mm. plans. I'm yes. really missing my bell here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry, but as, but, as yeah, I say guys thank you, Liz, it is so. a it is a team effort. I cannot claim and I will never claim 100% credit. I Thank mean, you, 99.9. The, <laughs> I mean, there's the motivation with you doing the food bank because yes. that was part of it. Um, you know, it was yeah. tin though, so it wasn't it too was. bad. But it's, it's still part of it. It yeah. is, yeah. It is a team. The, off the yeah. floor, it is you know, a team. There's all sorts of stuff. Yeah, yeah. it Wonderful. is a team. Tom, so. 
Ding, ding, ding. ding. Yeah. Um, so yes, thank you, Lisa. Thank you. Wonderful. Okay, so moving on. Why are we here? Tesco. Our big, long summer collection has been going on all week. Yes. yes. Um, we haven't got a, a total number of, of what we've raised We're yet. Right, no, I may we flash it up on the screen now. Okay. Wow. Wow. We, we've what still, a big we've number. still got another 24 hours yeah. to go. So. What a big number. Oh, what a small number. Oh, yeah. That's a shame. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know thing, yet. The other thing is, well, as long as as long as that was that great number was the funds that were collected. So we mm. ra we raised around about a hundred pounds a day, mm. uh, thanks to Ed and Lionel Lionel. and James and other people who were with us. Joseph, Joseph, we Sam, met loads of people. We Bernie. we picked up Bernie. Thank you. We picked yeah. up loads of contacts with people, mm. uh, people who generously donated produce, mm. knowledge, yes. um, services that we're going to use That's in the future. That's always an important part so, of this week. Yeah. Is, yeah. The, is we are in one place all week. <laughs> so many people. <laughs> People are coming to us. Can, you, us. can yeah. you imagine what it's going to be like when we've got our building? It's going to be Being incredible. in one place. There you go. Um, so you know, thank you to <laughs> Graham, yes, Debbie, Debbie uh, David Shortland, the, yeah. um, the store manager, so, yeah. and all our volunteers who have had Fantastic. to put up with me for most and, of the week. And um, the Trust of Trust. Spurring yes. them on. And the Trust of Trust. Yes. We are a bit stir crazy, hence <laughs> Twitter <laughs> pictures. Uh, counting the days. Day they, they've been on yours, haven't they? Yeah. If, you're, if you're following Will on yeah. Twitter, you'll see. You've got see pictures of us uh, holding a Harley yeah. Davidson telephone. Um, telephone. Oh, yes. Where did you uh, we might from? try and pop that up Ooh. at some point during from? the vlog. Yes. Right, talking right. of yes. um, people volunteering, yes. um, our Hob Star of the Week yes. has made a triumphant return. return. Yes. Um, so, yes, let's find out who it was. So, uh, as you know, uh, we award this to people who have uh, basically made an outstanding contribution to the week of House of Bread. This is Star, uh, star of the Week, basically. And today, this trophy goes to Joseph Sorry. for spending three days in Tesco. You, you can keep that for a whole week. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? Yeah. Look words, at the camera, look yeah. at the camera. Words, words, fail you? Words do fail yes. you. Yeah. Well, listen, you can hold on to that till Friday. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well done, Joseph. Thank well you, Joseph. 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 And that Joseph. was genuinely hard time yes. devoted on the shop floor. Well, yes. so yes. as, you, yes. as you watched in the past, we were saying it was exactly a year ago since the um, trolley dash, yes. Uh, yes. Thing, which was the outtake on last week's um, vlog, if you saw it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but as we were saying, Dave, who's usually our stalwart, who lives in Tesco's basically every year, has got himself a job, so he can which, yeah. is which is fantastic. And but I he's coming. He's coming. He's coming on Saturday. He's coming on Saturday. He's coming tomorrow. I haven't been in Tesco's at all all week, and it's just it just struck me how um, so we've got so many volunteers now who are very prepared to give up some time and come yeah. down and help yes. us. And we've you know we've been here because we have to be here, but we've been chopping and changing, haven't had yeah. to do much. Usually it's us giving out the leaflets, but yeah. thank you to everybody who's volunteered. Yeah. You've been you. fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely Brilliant. fantastic. Brilliant. Ding. 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 <laughs> um, any other business to finish off? Uh, Is there anything anybody wants to say? Yeah, I've got a couple of things. What about you, Lisa? And you? Um, well, just basically, House of Bread, all the collections have been going on. Yeah. Um, We've been feeding people again. We've been feeding we haven't people slowed again. down we for haven't, sure. We haven't... Um, the generosity of the, the food that's been coming in has been amazing for you guys, been, hasn't it? It's been absolutely brilliant. Um, but but don't, don't worry, whenever we do one of these events, House of Bread still runs on a Tuesday yeah. and a yeah. Wednesday and a Friday. Um, and we're always. Yeah. I mean, yesterday I, I don't. I, I lost count how many times I got in my car and drove somewhere and got out it's and then got back <laughs> in my car. Um, it, it was. It, yeah. Yeah. yeah it, it has yeah. been a great week. I, it has I been a great week. I've been particularly busy. You have. Um, and it's just really to flag it up. This is, you know, the Wimbledon started. The football's just coming to an end, and you're sort of in that hazy, summery sort of feel, and yet. This week we have been, or last week, we've been dealing with huge problems with people um, struggling with accommodation and well, food. Well, when we and were talking about what to talk about this point yeah. on the vlog, because we do do preparation sometimes, viewers, um, <laughs> we were saying how we really have, vlog. even though we've been in Tesco's and it's a nice, nice summery time, like mm. you say, we still have very much to do with vulnerable and homeless yeah. people oh, which yeah. is what it says on yeah. our poster which i don't think you can see because <laughs> yeah. there isn't a wide shot today no. um, but that doesn't slow down yeah. and you have been not particularly I, busy but well, it's, I, it's just I, been noticeable yeah. i was thinking the number of people that you have um connected with personally i think it has been one of the yeah. busiest weeks 
Mm. Um, yeah. You know, think, thinking and of thank of, you for all the agencies figures. have been working with the well, yeah. staff of Borough Council, Council, Housing Eagle Options, House. Eagle House. Um, got some exciting news about County a guy Council. who could be going to Eagle House, which is really good. So lots of good news. But yeah, very, very busy. So, yeah, um, that's always the thing. We always yeah. go, oh, this is happening, this is happening. But most of it is good yeah. news. Yeah, yeah. lots of people. Of oh, and other gifts. That. Andy Clapham donated £100 from the Fun Folk evening. Yes. Uh, lots of people are, are um, sending us bits of money. Some don't want messages, some do. We'll try and contact, contact you all. But local giving has been really, really mm. going like a, like yes. a flipping train this I, last I week. Do real, I've just realised we didn't put the lights <laughs> on. I <laughs> see hope I'm not to looking too pasty. <laughs> Strict down vlog, isn't it? Yeah, it yeah. is. Yeah. Like yeah. Hopefully you can on hear us. Hopefully you can't hear the coffee machine <laughs> um, or the people buying nappies just down there. Yeah. Um, thank you very much. Um, uh, to Will and Lisa. Thank you, Thank Jack. you Jack. Thank you very much. Um, I've pointed to the wrong people. Thank you very much at home. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. If Thank you're you for watching. Home. There was a problem last week with the vlog. It wouldn't work yeah. on tablets or phones. So I apologise. It wasn't our end. It was YouTube. Mm. Um, so hopefully it works this week. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Bye. Um, Jack, do you... Um Oh, it's a, it's a beautiful cake. Uh, I'm, I'm a little concerned that these um, these decorations, you know, might not be might not be edible. What do you th what do you think we ought to do? Eat it, Lisa. Got a whole one. Go on, put a petal in your mouth. And so you said these were fine, did you, Lisa? Lisa? <laughs> oh, they're not fine.